think, uh, freshest boat of all because uh, most of these parts are really new. They are from two days ago, I think. No one believes it. The Portuguese guys went to a supermarket at one o'clock, I think, and bought a grill roast or uh, some water bottles. We drank the water, so it's not complete anymore. Um, we get some rudder from uh, Moop. We got also Moop part because it's the deck. Uh, we, we didn't know that, sorry. Um, we got a used servo from, from the Portuguese team uh, in Arduino, but the electrical side, they'll tell you a bit. Um, a really nice sail, you know, with beans and flowers. Um, <laughs> that's really good. And we got a, a, pro, a 3D printed wind sensor from uh, the team from Lübeck, where there's a magnetic compass uh, inside. Um, we got a special keel design that we already tested and we'll uh, change it. So, <laughs> it basically sails. Um, it drifts a lot, so we try to fix it up. We got a fixed um, main jib, so uh, we can cannot sail directly to the wind. But uh, not directly, but uh, we can only. Uh, oh, I don't know the name. Beam rich, say beam rich, but uh, I heard that's okay. That's all you have to do today. Okay, um, so yeah, I think that's it about the construction. The software? The software is coming out. <laughs> Actually, not the software, the, the electronics part. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty different boat from the other two. This is completely improvised. We have an Arduino running with a shield, a GPS, and a compass on it. I think the GPS is from Fast Track. And we had to power up the servo in some way because our window cannot have enough current for this. This is a pretty heavy rudder. So we had a battery support and solder some wires into it just to improvise it. Unfortunately, there was a problem. Uh, as you can probably see, the magnetic field inside is not so smooth, so the compass isn't responding very well. And so our control system is basically winding up all over. But this is it. It's a pretty simple design. And now for the software. Yeah, so software. Uh, we're electrical engineers, we hate software, uh, but still we do it well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but it's civil, right? Okay. Um, the software is just a typical layered architecture, you know, hardware layer, uh, the, the steering, and then the skipper on top of that. We, we hard code the coordinates of the, of, the, of the buoys because we didn't really want to, or have the time to go to serial communication or worse wireless communication. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so it's very simple, it just uses, um, well supposedly it, it will use the compass for heading control, uh, simple PI control, uh, adjustable gains, etc. It, it's proven to work uh, very well in our uh, other, other boats, so, uh, so we decided to try it again. But since the compass uh, went haywire with all the wires around it, uh, we thought about changing the algorithm to uh, a wind direction based uh, algorithm, um, except we only thought of that an hour ago, and so that's not implemented. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if, if there are any conclusions to take from this, is that Asda is a great place to buy stuff from at one in the morning. I wasn't paid for the advertisement. Uh, and yeah, so. Oh, there's an important feature. You can regulate the water level on the bottles. <laughs> <laughs> That's very important. Uh, or sand level, if you wish. <laughs> yeah. so, and as I, you've sailed it a little bit out in the Yes, place, yeah? it's, still, it's still wet. It's still wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it drifted more than, uh, than, it sailed. than it sailed, yes, but <laughs> it, was, it was controlling. Um, but yeah, the, the keel isn't really the best design for it. Sure. Uh, we just put to apply what the, the thing is together. Uh, it should probably be wider. Uh, but yeah, it, it, uh, at least an extension of it should be something usable. Why not just sink a, a straight keel down? Why did because you? we didn't want to add any weight to the center. Because uh, our, our purpose was to balance it on, on the side, on the bottom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought about just getting some traffic. Because in there. it's a pretty okay. heavy servo for this purpose. Sure. Uh, so we had to balance it with the batteries, and then if we started, uh, someone had an idea, uh, I think it was Alex, to use a hammer as a keel. Uh, but eventually we thought that might just be a little bit too, uh, too much weight. <laughs> so we went with the plywood. Okay. So is there more weight going here? Or is that uh, well, it? 
no, there is no, there is no weight on the kid. It's just that if you'd have introduced that weight on the kid, it might have been too much for the whole weight. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah. This was only basically like eight, nine hours, so we... Yeah, yeah. Yes, we just thought yesterday we woke up, let's build a boat. Why not? It's a competition, so... Indeed. Sure, so we did. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Any other questions from anyone else? Okay, thanks very much and cheers.